about some recent Love After Lockup updates. First, let's talk about another cast member that has recently been arrested, and that is Derek. Derek was literally just released from prison in June, and he's already back in. He was arrested on August 13th at 2 p.m., and he was initially arrested by the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Office, which is in Cleveland, and he was transferred on August 15th, and I found out that he was transferred to the Lorraine Prison. So he's already back in prison, so I'm assuming this is likely a parole violation. With them sending him to prison within days of his latest arrest and them not having a new mugshot or any new charges listed, that's why I'm assuming this is likely from a parole violation. I try to request more information, so if I do find anything else out, I will make sure I let you guys know. He literally was just talking about how he's never going back, and now he's already back in prison. And it's crazy because not even like a month ago, Derek was in my DMs popping off because he didn't like some of my jokes I made about him in some of my videos. He said, you need to put some respect on my name and give me my flowers. What am I supposed to give you flowers for? For the fact that you can't stay out of prison? And Derek and his girl Angel were supposed to be releasing this book that they wrote. It's called You Belong to Me and Only Me and it's Derek talking about him being with Monique and I don't know what else they're supposed to be talking about, but it was supposed to be coming out on the 16th, and they said they were taking pre-orders up until the 16th, and I thought for sure if it's coming out on the 16th, then they would stop taking pre-orders. But at this time, they're still taking pre-orders. I have not heard of anybody reviewing the book or talking about the book. And again, I ask if anybody's watching this, if you've ordered a book, and received it, I'd love to hear about your experience or if you ordered and didn't receive it. So definitely DM me on Instagram or email me or reach out to me on Facebook. All that information is below. And the book was supposed to be on Amazon, but so far she's only released one chapter and she hasn't released any more in months. And the book is not available on Amazon and has zero reviews. And Derek suddenly deleted his page like days before the book was supposed to come out. I don't know if he's reactivated his page since I last knew he deactivated, but I had numerous people in my comments today saying that on Instagram, and he blocked me, so I can't tell or not. But I'm very curious if people have got their books. And there's been a lot of drama going on between Monique and Derek's girl, Angel, ever since Monique posted on her backup page that Derek just can't seem to stay out of jail. Last we were talking about Derek and Monique, Derek and Angel had filed a restraining order against Monique and Derek's girl Angel claims that the five year restraining order was granted through the Ohio courts and processed and she said should not stalk, should not harass, but yet mental illnesses and desperation and obsession has a person willing to break all laws. And I don't think I've seen anything of like Monique violating her restraining order yet. As long as she doesn't contact Angel or Derek or try to do like any contact behavior, like trying to have someone else contact them for her or does like any stalking or like as long as she doesn't go near them, then she should be good from what I know from restraining orders. And even Monique made a good point. Like, if you wanted me to shut up, you should have got a cease and desist, not a restraining order. Then Angel said, when you say you ain't a stalker, but you show the world that you are beyond a delusional stalker. Then she put a bunch of laughing emojis and she said, y'all help me off this floor, please, because I can't. And then Monique clapped back and she said, Greasy wig trying to beef with me because she want to make the blog so bad because nobody watching that movie that took her three years to put out. The view's not hitting, huh? Girl, you're too easy. You wake up ugly every day. Your life is hard enough. And then she said, I'll be mad too if my coochie couldn't keep my man out of jail. And then Monique said, I'm done. 
going back and forth with this delusional liar. Let me know when she uploads a picture of her marriage certificate. Okay, so what happened was Angel demanded Monique to post a picture without makeup and a full body picture. And Monique was like, okay, but I want you to post a picture and a wig that's not all fried out, cheap, and greasy. Or I want to see a picture of your marriage certificate or your imaginary baby. And then she posted a picture of herself as a full body picture. And then she said, I gave her one of the things she requested and still nothing. Bye, tacky pants. Then Angel said, low life, no life, we get it. All gums, no teeth, that bite really hurts. And then she said, five year restraining order and you still won't let up. Sheesh, the obsession is more than real. This is sickening. I'm begging my tribe to please send those prayers up immediately. It's sad to see another black woman go out sad like this. I'm about to delete all my social media platforms. There's no way I will live in fear like this anymore. And all someone and all someone to continuously stalk, harass, and threaten my husband, my family, and I like this. I'm scared for my life, seriously. Then she says, keep making me more famous, more richer. I promise anyone you send over here, they're getting they're going to love it here. Meanwhile, they're bored and tired over there with all the mess you keep up, but don't have ish to show for anything but a voucher, endless drama, and some free wigs. And then she tagged like this movie she just came out with on Tubi recently. Then she said, if my entire life was a lie and I was lonely with no man or no real friends and my only option was to catfish inmates, I had no career and a five-year restraining order held against me and every time I log online and I see my ex, castmate, wife online trending on every social media platform, meanwhile, I have no life, no career, and all I can do is stalk, harass, eat, and watch them live their best lives. I would be mad too. I get it. Then she said I would be mad too if my castmate left me for a super success and naturally beautiful BBW. And Monique recently just celebrated losing 100 pounds. The last time we talked about her weight loss, she was getting close to 100 pounds, but she had not hit that goal yet, and she announced she finally has hit it. I know she's been taking, like, Ozempic or, like, a form of Ozempic, and she's been working out more and changing some things in her diet, and you can definitely tell the difference. You know, when you first lose weight, it's hard to notice a big difference. You can tell that she's lost a lot of weight in her arms and her stomach. So congratulations to Monique because really she lost like 260 pounds. She lost 100 pounds of weight from working out and she lost 160 pounds of dead weight when she finally decided to move on from Derek. But that is it for this video guys. Let me know what you guys think about all this drama in the comments below. Are you shocked that Derek is back in prison? He went back to the same prison he was at last time, so I'm sure some of his friends and lovers were probably excited to see him walk back into the pod, and they're probably like, welcome home. And I think at this point, maybe it's best that Derek just serves the rest of his parole time in jail, well, in prison, and then just get out to where he doesn't have to be on parole anymore. Because it seems like he cannot follow his parole out here in the streets if he's already violated twice this year alone. And he still has a few years left before it's even going to be done. But that is it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Check out my lashes at accordingtoamber.com. And thank you so much for watching.